Lawrence may or may not remember, you are currently in the city of Baldur's Gate, in the employ of Captain Zodge of the Flaming Fist. To the east of Baldur's Gate was a city of called El Terrell. That city has apparently suffered a disaster, and refugees had flooded the city, prompting the Flaming Fist to close the gates and try to deal with the refugees that have already come. Captain Zodge had conscripted you under the Flaming Fist remit to uh, conscript people in times of emergency, and they usually target adventuring types because they're usually effective. And if not competent, at, at least they're, you know, it's usually a self-solving issue. He asked you to go and deal with some cultists that worship a set of gods known as the Dead Three. That is Bane, Baal, and Myrtle, the gods of tyranny, torture, and murder. And you found, and you were able to track them down through contact to a bathhouse. And inside that bathhouse, you found a secret door leading down into an old section of the Baldur's Gate sewers that you have been exploring. And through your explorations, you have encountered uh, some cultists. You have also found yourselves with a, uh, a pet currently nestled inside of Franklin's shell, a, a little Al Mirage, a rabbit with a unicorn horn. And you've dealt with some of the cultists. Currently, you are all standing in what appear in a partially collapsed room that has three wooden beams supporting the ceiling. Situated between the beams is a scorched wooden table and a somewhat familiar looking uh, cadaver resting atop it. On the floor nearby are also several other bodies of cultists and allies that have fallen here, along with a thin woman previously draped in black robes that uh, had been attending this uh, room before you stormed in and dealt with her. Currently, you are all st still standing there. The smell of death and decay kind of filling the room. Her body cooling where it fell. So what is it you would all like to do? Hmm. We're pretty fucked up right now. Yeah, we're, we're not doing a long well. rest. Um... I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to find an inn and have a safe long rest. Well, that means we'd have to go all the way back up. Like, Correct. Up that oh. at, at this rate... Oop. Hey, am I, how am I sounding, guys? You sound fine. fine. Crystal. Yeah. All right, I just had to take the auto sensitivity. It was peeking me out, and uh, that headset was garbage. Um... Oh, man, at this rate, we uh, we might finish this dungeon in uh, in a couple weeks, but uh, we got pretty beat up there. Yeah, we can try to to sleep it out for a bit here, but most of you guys already have. Uh, everyone's about well. to use their hit dice. Yeah, uh, I have mine. Mm -hmm. I have one of mine still. I still have. I have one left. Of mine. No wait, I only have two. Never mind. I don't have any. I have one left. So okay. I, I'd like a long rest. I don't know. What All you right, guys. let's let's fast travel at real time back to the inn. Should we go back to the inn, or should we just stay where we are? Just no, let's in. bounce out of here. Yeah, uh, I think seems, half the party's uh, at one HP. So yeah, that's fair. We were banging around, making a lot of noise. A fireball just exploded. Also, don't love to sleep in a sewer. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm also out of spell slots. So, I mean. And I, I need to change up my spells, so... Okay. We came back we could... down at about midday-ish, correct, Under Dark? It's now would be... A, I think you guys took a short rest at one point, so it's a little bit after midday, but yes. <laughs> I it's, mean, it's in game time, we've, time, it's been like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we like gave down, snuck in, into one more room. Well, I want to peek down that other curve just to see what's up ahead. To the south of D13. Okay. Yeah. I I'll go ahead and use the rest of my eight point. Uh, 
lay on hand. <laughs> just in case. I'm at full health. I've not taken any damage yet. No, I'm yeah. putting it on me because I'm at one. So in case you, you trip another encounter or uh, or something comes up behind us, I'd just be caught off guard. Uh, I was uh, just going to literally peek around the corner. I was just going to like like the whole take the helmet off. It was just something I was going to do around it. me. Go do your thing. Under, quick question. Yes. So I have seven lay on hands left in my <laughs> slot. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a long rest. You may as well just fucking hang out. Well, uh, but even if we go get their long rest, I'd like to while we're on the way out. So I have the seven left, and we're not in combat, so it's not time or turn based, and we're not in initiative. Could I use those uh, in conjunction, like re repeatedly? Yeah, lay on hands is a pool of HP you can give out by touching somebody. Every time you touch them, you can decide how little or how much to give them, and you can do so until you run out of HP to give out. Okay, no, but I can use it on myself too, correct? Yes, you can touch yourself. <laughs> yes. How much HP do I gain per all of one? it? You get you one It's HP a it's a pool point. of HP. So you say you have seven left. That means you have seven hit points left to give out. You choose yes. when you touch someone how much of that seven to give them. So if you give oh. yourself two hit points, you heal two hit points. If you give yourself oh. seven, you heal seven. When that okay. hits zero, you're you can't really do anything until you t you know rest up. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna use my seven uh, lay on hand. The seven of use my last seven HP of my lay on hands on myself. Okay. So I'm back up to eight HP. All right. Yeah, yeah. You can do that as uh, Ira kind of pokes her head around the corner. And what you see there is that the uh, carved walls curve around to the east, and you can see a uh, decrepit wooden door closed to the south in the middle of the hallway, and a set of small stairs leading up to a closed, similarly shoddy wooden door to the east. Are there any markings on the door that we can see? No, that's around another corner. You'd have to walk all the way down there and what go around door? There. No, the um one just. To... Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm not there. Um, I join my friend who is peeking around the corner. Yeah, I'm I'm bringing up behind these four. Well, slow and quietly, quietly. So just uh, just hang out. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll hang out. I'll I'll hang out at the uh, corner at the intersection of the hallways. Uh, yeah, so is there let's any, let's uh... learn a lesson from that last encounter, guys, and be careful. Yeah. 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 My bad. Is there any uh, pressure plates or anything on the floor in that uh, tile, one tile to the west of the uh, the southern door? Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check to check for traps. Ooh. Or secret door? Or is that just an open? You don't see any traps or pressure plates or tripwires or caltrops. All right. I'm going to go up to that southern door and just uh, put my ear up against it. Okay. Gently not leaning against or anything like that. Just good listen. Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check as you listen at the, as you realize is somewhat moist door. Ooh. Similar to all the rotten wooden doors you've been encountering in this dungeon. Uh, you hear what sounds like a light scratching on, on stone. Okay, so possibly something you drag in the distance, or more rabbits. Really big claws walking around. Um, okay, I'll uh, do the same same process, working my way to the other door, just to take a quick listen at it. Okay, uh, why don't you give me another perception check as you get to the other door. Are you calling this back to us, or... Uh, I'm not calling up yet. I will pass it on when I get back to the group. Yeah, Just making sure. Very... Shut up, you're not here, Steve. Sorry, dog. You said perception for the second door, listen? Yes. Okay. Um... Oh, I didn't do the R. I mean, no, it's fine. It's just use a different bot instead of Bang Bot. Yeah, the one that's broken. I I don't trust it. <laughs> that's fine. 
Well, you got a 20, so... Yep, and you, exactly. hear, and you don't hear anything. <laughs> okay, alright, we can go up to the surface then. Great, so I'll pass that information on. Uh, scraping noise at the first door, nothing at the second door. Uh, let's boogie. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine it's not... Uh, some masseuses down here. But, uh... <laughs> oh, before I go, is there any keyhole or anything on that southern wooden door that I could possibly peek through, or no? There is. Oh. You're falling into his trap, son. We can come back in the, in the tomorrow. I mean, I, what um, is the thing that we're needing to do down here time sensitive? Because it's, I feel like, I don't know how long you, you know, y'all been tempting Peek through the keyhole, goddammit. <laughs> Absolutely, you can peek through the keyhole. Um, we'll just use your other perception check. It's kind of the same thing. And yeah, you peek through the keyhole. And in th through it, you can see it looks like a, a short hallway that goes to a 10 by 10 carved stone room. And the floor, you see a rat kind of sniffing around. Okay. Huh. All right. Let's head back for a short rest then, or a long rest. I guess. Yeah, the the long size rest. of the rat kind of corresponds to the scraping you heard on the ground. All right. All right, All right let's head back. Yeah, let's go to an inn. As, as we're walking, I, I, I guess let's get out of there. Assume we just make it out safely. Assume. Don't ever assume. I, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I it learned that on day it one when I, was left, when I was like, I assume we take a short rest, and, and Underdog was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's a sneaky little bastard, him. Indeed. But oh, yeah, in I, this I, case... <laughs> So you guys you start, start heading song back back some through the route. Through the same route you came down, wading through the water where necessary. But you are able to... Anybody want to inspect that uh, altar again? No. Just keep going. Let's, keep <laughs> Let's go. Alright, yeah. At the octagonal room, you head north. Through the windy passage and up the stairs to the bathhouse. You arrive and you hear birds chirping outside. Is it like midday? It, it, it's like two in the afternoon. Mm. We just come out looking like shit. Well, let's go get some wine. <laughs> so, if we take a long rest, it's going to be like midnight. <laughs> I mean, we should definitely... If like, we immediately uh, took a long rest, yes, it would be midnight when we finished. All right, to the but bar. we don't have to immediately take a bit long rest. There are plenty of things to do. The other thing I, is, you can only benefit from one long rest per 24 hours. So you would actually have to wait another six hours before you could take a long rest. So... Uh, Elf, so Elf Song Tavern? Yep. Do, um... I guess, do I fall under those rules? I know we met up after there. For the s sake of simplicity of keeping track of it, yes. Okay, I was going to do like my sleep now and then stand guard, but we'll be in an uh, I would like to uh, kind of like talk to y'all a little bit about sort of, do we think, uh, how do we feel about leaving this mission for another day? Do, you, do, we, do we think it's time sensitive or do you think we'll lose track of, uh, of the cultist activity or we're not? Well, considering that they know that we're down there now because of all of the dead bodies, uh, I think we should uh, carry on at the pace that we're going and not take too long. Okay. Yeah. So do that then. So, so does that, that, so yeah, so it'll be fine for another day then? <laughs> or should we go back? Uh, if we want to carry on with our actual task of clearing out the Cult of the Dead 3, yes, we should go back as soon as possible. We've already killed some of them, therefore they know that they are being hunted and have been found. If we wait, they will, well, pack up shop and move somewhere else and we'll have to start all over hunting them again. Well, then why do we leave? Because we're fucking hurt. Because everybody's, everybody's taking significant amounts of damage. Who? So, how do we want to approach this? Then, who all? We're going. Who all to in the group rest this evening? Um, I was planning on going and seeking information about the Dead Three and finding out more about their uh, 
hierarchy of their cult and stuff like that to see what we're possibly going up against. I don't know what the rest of the party wants to do for the afternoon, but that's what my plan was. I'll go with yeah. I will I'll join you. Yeah, for the sake of not splitting up a story, I will uh, silently... F- I'm going to go hang out at the bar, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to go to the bar with Mercy. Yeah, whatever information I get, because I mean, obviously it's only going to take me a little while. You never know what you'll find at a bar. We, well, I guess convene at the end. At the end. Franklin, we're getting Franklin, feedback for your mic. Yeah, oh. I know. I'm still driving. But uh, I need help studying my rabbit. It's got uh, stuff magic stuff all oh yeah, yes we can investigate the magic too yeah uh, it's about transmutation magic so yeah well, there's not thing. many things that would ping transmutation so oh, Ooh, sorry guys I had something in my throat um is there a local <laughs> uh mage or a pop sorceress or? sundries uh, yeah sorceress sundries let's go visit uh what's his name raven um claw <laughs> no, it's Raven Blackwood or something like that. Black Hand. No, Black Hand. Underdark? Uh, Source for Sundries? What's the owner's name? Something Black Hand, I'm pretty sure. It is Black Hand. It is Rivalin Black Hand. Ah, Rivalin Black Hand. Okay, I was close. <laughs> Rivalin. I was literally about to do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm along for the ride. Whatever you boys want to do. Uh, right. Mercy, are you going to the, the bar still? You want to go to the Elf Song Tavern with me? I'll go to the tavern. Yeah, All right, let's I'll, do that. I'll go with boys. Uh, going with Ira. Right, so I'm assuming Franklin with the rabbit is coming with uh, Steve and I. Probably. And the other three are going to the tavern. Uh, yeah, save me okay. a seat. All right, so you guys are going to the Elf Song Tavern. Yes, please. All right. So, yeah, as you guys head off in your two groups. So, the two of you get to the El Song Tavern. No problem at all. You basically start drinking. Basically. (laughs) Well, you can do whatever you want, really. I I just assumed you were going to there to drink and rest up. I was yes. going there to perform. Okay. Gross. Um, I was, uh, I mean, I, I definitely do want to be drinking, but I guess I was, I, is there anyone uh, interesting in the bar when we walk up? Is it just standard clientele? Buddy, that I wouldn't. And shadowy figures. Sticks out. Or just someone that looks interesting or different. Yes. Tarina, Not with the party. Do we know if Tarina's there? No, she disappeared, dog. Uh, well, I didn't when know. you go there, no, you don't see her there at the bar. Okay. She appears to have fucked off somewhere. Okay. And she Sorry, was on. their contact. That's where we originally got the information for where the Dead 3 cult was. I was going to ask in character, but I totally just undercut, underduck. Do you think, my man? Nah, that's fine. So, yeah. Yeah, so you guys arrive at the Elf Song. It's for uh, strange people there. I mean, I, I guess it depends on what you mean by strange. Uh, Just out of the ordinary, uh, anyone that might um, <laughs> kind of stick out besides us? Make it, anyway. uh, let's call this an insight check, then. Ooh, baby. I don't think it's very good. Nope. Oh, my insight's great. Cool, bro. Imagine with us. <laughs> it's, uh, where's the... Okay. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Nice. nice. So, probably the strangest person in the tavern is kind of off in a Me? corner... With a dark, like almost like almost black, but you can tell it is a, but it, you can tell it's like a green cloak, up and over their shoulders. And they appear to be sitting in the corner, just kind of gently smoking this real long-stemmed pipe. Hmm. And what, what stuck out to you was the fact that there is a 
grayish red tail that kind of is wrapped around the table uh, that the person is sitting at. Okay. Oop, I'm back. Uh, I assume long stem pipe and then tail. Long tail wrapped around the table. Ooh, well, the, the, scaly? Uh, no, no, more leathery. Ooh. Ooh. Thin and whip like. Um, I approach oh. this strange person, offer to buy them a drink. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so, so oh, the person kind of like puts the, you, you hear him like inhale through the pipe and uh, with an almost lyrical voice, she says I'm really not interested in your companionship. Uh, perhaps your wiles would be spent better on other people. Um, I attempt to persuade her into joining our company. So what? persuasion check. Oh, oh my god! What are what you, do you doing? Mean, what are you attempting you are to do a here? a PS4 RPG. Uh, right I'm now. attempting to be, to befriend and or get information from this person. Can't. So, oh, I just so, want to, like join. I, I want to catch you real quick. You, you don't say I want to make a persuasion check. You you wait till oh, the DM yeah. asks you to make a persuasion yes. check because if if what you're trying to do is impossible, then making saying I want to make a persuasion check kind of forces the DM to try to go along with you, which Underdark will not do. He'll be like, yes. well, I didn't say make a persuasion check, so I just want to yeah. right there on that. Well, I'll right just enough. ignore Thank the you. result. Um, yeah. Which Ruffled, doesn't really the, feel the good for The third option on the dialogue um, box is join this person as to for join a drink. And I want to um, talk Stand this person into uh, hanging out with us and having a good time. Okay, well, you like you you went up, you offered to buy her a drink. She shot you down. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to try to persuade I, her? I I walk up and say, uh, my apologies, my lady. I, I heard a woman's voice, yeah? Yes. Yes. And yeah, my apologies, my lady. My friend here, he's had a little bit too much to drink. It's been long, as you can see. We're, it's been a long day for us. Um, please, uh, may, I, may I buy you a drink just as an apology? We'll, I promise we'll leave you alone. That works. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead and make a persuasion check. All right, now watch me fucking love the thing that I'm good at. Uh, plus four on my persuasions. Minus one to role play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And she kind of, you, see, you just kind of hear her taking the uh, from the pipe again, and she just kind of exhales this. It's a, you know, almost like a purplish tinge to the smoke. Oh, does it make a boat shape? No, it doesn't. It just it just floats off like smoke. You, you kind of get like a sulfurous um, smell from it, and she says, "Well, I suppose that would be acceptable." <laughs> Getting some real sulfurous intentions, boys. Hey yo. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I look off at the camera for a second. No. Um, well, my, it would be my pleasure. Um, what may uh, What may I get you? Uh, by the way, my name is uh, Mercius. This is my uh, my companion, Veg. He's a he's a good friend of mine. If uh, a little misguided, uh, may I ask your name? And she says, "Well." I'm partial to the wine here. It's a long name. Being cute does not quite uh, make you uh, seem apologetic, now does it? I, uh, my apologies. I am, uh, when, when the situation is tense, I tend. But uh, the answer to your question is that you may call me Despiria. Beautiful name. Are you uh, are you from these these parts? Uh, uh, you seem so exotic for uh, for a place such as this, as varied as it is. Oh, I've been around. Just I tend to keep more to the upper city. Understand. Certainly, uh, cleaner air up this way. And, uh, definitely interesting folks. Well, I'll be happy to uh, uh, to buy you a. Uh, 
a glass? Do they serve glasses here? <laughs> or mugs? Or how do they serve their wine? Typically wine is sold by the bottle. A unit of wine. I'd be happy to buy you a bottle uh, and, and offer my deepest apologies with it and, uh, <clears throat> and wish you a, a good day. And, uh, and to you as well. A good day. I, uh, yeah. I yeah. The bottle of wine does cost you a silver. Oh, yeah, of course. I know it's, uh, uh <laughs> I, I, I persuade the bartender to join our. The bartender gives you a flat look just... and tells you to get the fuck out. <laughs> You're, You're like, obviously you too drunk this... for him to serve. You think this is fable? There's one silver. Yeah, I gotta tell him to, to get the lady. Um, and, uh, yeah, go, I guess, go sit back down. Do we have a table, or do we just walk in here and immediately roll up to the... Well, you basically lady. walked in there and immediately rolled up to the, uh, the woman, so... <laughs> Can you tell me, right, do you well, want to get a table? There, there, are, there is a table available. There's also room at the bar. Yeah, I, I look at the, the, the boys, I say, let's go grab a table, uh, relax, and, uh, and, you know, rest up, because we've got, uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us. We've really got <laughs> very little accomplished. All right, you uh, guys, great, get a table. Can I, uh, just real quick, I just want to ask the bartender how long it's been since the Elf Song has played, and if it's still kind of out of whack. And he, and he says, uh, it's been playing its usual schedule. Uh, it also has been playing its usual songs. Don't don't quite know what happened to that one night. Uh, you know, uh, but what can I tell you? Uh, ghosts kind of do their own thing. Is it all right if I uh, perform as long as the song's not playing? Sure, knock yourself out. All right. I uh, order a tankard of ale or a bottle of wine if they only serve wine, and I'd like to sit down, keep an eye on the uh, the the lizard lady, Despiri, while I'm uh, watching the guy perform. Sure. Yeah, you sit I'll down and start you know, casual tankard life. of ale. Playing it cool. Yeah, you look yeah. over, she's staring right at you. Well, that <laughs> didn't sound very casual. Well, like, you just glance it? over, she's just watching you. Ooh. Let's see if I can draw her attention. Smoke changed color, or is it still... It's still that same purplish tinge every time she's done it. it. Hasn't changed color since you've seen it. Just seems to be whatever she's smoking gives off that type, that color of smoke. Ah. It's got a purple uh, haze to it. Can I tell... Song uh, title. If she is a, an agent of... a. Uh, Dark religion. <laughs> Were you just about to say, can you tell Well, you can make an insight check. Is your okay. character Rain Man? No, I well, just I love, I love her it, dude. clothing okay. and the way she carries herself, is, is, is she seem like a shady figure? You, uh, you, you know. can make an insight check. Right, which is why <laughs> I said make an insight check. <laughs> okay, we'll okay. see just exactly what it is. You... you uh, would be able to figure out just looking at her. Um, insight is zero. Okay. Oh, swing and a miss. Well, her mannerisms would kind of tell you that she's, and her the fact she kind of admitted that she usually is in the upper city. She's probably a member of or employee of a patriarch family. Mm. Uh, she doesn't have any sigils or uh, coats of arms on her that would tell you which one. Mm-hmm. And her the her mannerisms would kind of tell you that she's uh, that she was basically looking down at you as like common rabble as she was talking to you. Mm. Okay. Okay. As to what she's doing here, you don't know, but it it is odd for someone who would think of themselves in that stature to be here alone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Especially in a cloak kind of uh, hiding. That's actually she's not she's... that unusual. She's hiding what? the fact that she's there. Because the... she's yeah. ashamed to be there. Well, it's 
it's or also a thousand other reasons. You in Baldur's Gate, you don't, especially in the lower city, you don't flash around the fact that you're wealthy and have no obvious protection because all you're you're basically inviting yourself to get to get uh, mugged, murdered, or worse. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't mean like dressing plainly. I mean, I, she's got like what you know, cloak. cloak. I just she seemed like she was specifically trying to. Yeah, she is trying uh, to you know. to. Be well, somewhat then. covert. Yeah, that's, that's um, it, what it I was, was the fact that it was the juxtaposition of her cloak, the tail, and her mannerisms that kind of gave her away. Mm-hmm. The sticky icky. You would also, with that type of insight, uh, be able to tell that with the tail and everything, mm-hmm. and her the voice, her name would kind of give away that she's a tiefling. Tiefling. Yeah, not oh. a lizard. Not a lizard folk. That's embarrassing that I did not recognize that as a. T- Mm-hmm. Anyway, okay, I got that. From the yeah, purple smoke. Start to play. The other no. part of the party, however, is currently winding their way through the streets of Baldur's Gate towards Sorceress Sundries. Okay. Two for one at Sorcerer Sundries. Yo. Sorcerer Sundries. All right. Yeah. And you arrive outside of the uh, the round shop. The uh, dome of stained glass, kind of acting as a beacon of uh, magic in the area. Okay, I forgot to put my. Sorry. Well, switching walls real quick. Give me a second. Um, I would like to go in and walk up to and uh, ask if. Ray, Raven Blackhand is in there. Rivlin. Rivlin. Rivlin Blackhand. Right. So you, so you walk into the shop and you walk up to the sole person behind the counter. And he kind of looks you up and down very obviously when you ask that question. And he says, well. And uh, it, you, you can see as he kind of like rests his hands on the counter that one of them is um sh- is like withered and blackened, <laughs> and he says you're speaking with him. Um, so I have this rabbit. I'm gonna reach back. Obviously, take the rabbit. Okay. Out from my shell, and I have hey. this. Okay. And it has transmutation stuff all over it. Can you determine the origin of the transmutation stuff? Or if it's dark transmutation or light or how it got transmutation? Okay, yes, you're holding this it. rabbit in your hand. And he looks at it and he says, well, I can cast Identify on the rabbit for a price. And that will tell us uh, what spells, if any, are affecting it. I kind of want to stand at the door and just kind of keep an eye on things from a little farther back. Be up at the counter with him. Are we? I, no, I'm just saying my character will be at the counter with him. You're welcome to stand okay. by the door. Watch. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to hang out by the door. That is not a problem. I'm trying to find my character. She give me a second. Mm-hmm. Underdark, is there, is there... How many other people are in the room? Uh, you see um, an elderly man in in like a gray robe kind of browsing uh, some of the scrolls over okay. over in one of the corners. Okay, cool. You you hear some muttering coming from that direction, like he's talking to himself. Is he pasting any of the books? <laughs> no. Gotcha. Yeah, all right. Cool, thanks, Doug. So I would like to ask him. How, uh, I'm going to ask him how much identify cost. It would you... go. I I think fifty gold would be a fair price for my services. Yikes! I'm going to turn to Ira and say, "Well, um, I guess I guess we how can." How about a trade? Oh, what exactly are you proposing? What books do you have on you? I don't remember what, where they got split up in the party. 
I think you have all of them, don't you? Because you're the the carry weight right now. Uh, actually, I don't. Ironically, um, uh, I have one of them. <laughs> what do you have? Uh, I'm trying. To... Oh, I totally because we didn't identify it yet, so I didn't put a thing well, on it. Which well. book? We we opened all of them. We know what spells they all contain, except for one. Oh, I didn't put that down. I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> then Elrond has them all. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. So Elrond has all four of the books. I believe so. I just, we never actually did sit down and do a full inventory divvy, but let's just go ahead and say I have all the books. Just for what? he was no, gonna I... be our carry weight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll be the carry weight. Do you have them listed at least, Elrond, so we can transfer them to his bag real quick? Uh red leather, uh black leather, and reptilian. The dragons. So that means Steven has the black one with the key. I have the black one with the key. That's the one I picked up. I have the black one with this. Uh, okay, blank so from what it sounds like, too, is Franklin has the first three you guys found yes. that you were able to open and read without a problem. But the fourth one that had like the the lock on the side of it to keep the book closed. Uh, yeah, that, like a, that a one else has. The skull lock, and I also have a black iron key I found in that lady's hair. Mm -hmm. Likely goes with it, yeah. Okay. Um, That's Elrond, funny. do you have the indexes of all the books? Um, I don't remember opening them. I just remember... We, we have all three what spells were in them. Yeah. The, the three first books. We have all three of their spells listed out somewhere, guys. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I well, think, you'd be able uh, to open the books right then and there. It's I think Franklin does hands. have those. You took those books, I thought, Ira. Because you have those books, and I have the one I found after we dealt with the fireball lady. I never put them in my inventory, so. All right. Someone, so someone took the books, and it wasn't me. Okay, cool, thanks. Yep. Books and gloves. How great is So, this is a whole bunch of private stuff. Well, I uh, posted, you know, what's in yeah. these books. They are, it would be trivially uh, easy for you to simply op to pull them out and open them. Oh, yeah. so you okay. have, um, have yes, in the Raven Shade spellbook, because those are relatively easy. Um, the other two have some more useful ones that you could uh, essentially stack onto a wizard if we ever got a wizard in the party. Yeah. So I'll firm the Raven Shade spellbook and trade. Which has identify. <laughs> so Bit of irony. Franklin, what's your yeah. passive perception? PP PP is uh Franklin, because he's the one pulling these uh, out, right? Yeah. Ten. Okay. So yeah, so you kinda like shuffle the rabbit off to like, you know, the crook of your arm and you cut start going through your backpack pulling out the pulling out the Raven Shade spellbook. As you kinda plop it on the corner. You notice that your hand is covered in blood. Huh? Your hand is covered in blood. They're a woman. Um, and, you know, and you also realize that that's probably your blood. So you, you've, you have taken two necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points are currently reduced by two. Oh my god, it's Benicula. How much so, HP did you have? I'm uh, unconscious. Alright, so uh, you kind of like put the book on the ground as you just kind of slump to the ground, falling unconscious. Uh, does it look like he took damage from the book or something else? It, it looks like he just fainted. It did not look... Okay. There was no like flash, there was no uh, sucking what? sound or anything. There was just just the squeak of the rabbit as as he kind of falls on it. Where the fuck is the rabbit? He fell on the rabbit? He was holding it when he fell. Oh, what's it's the rabbit doing now? now? The rabbit is kind of like nuzzling slash poking at your arm. Uh-huh. That's it. Like it's, it's just doing that. Steven, do you have any land hands? I forget if you have that or not. I do. All right, Did get you him back say up. you used them all? No, that was Vagic. Ah, okay, sorry, got you two mixed up. Ah, uh, I'm scared to walk over there. I feel like him, you know, nuzzling and putting pointing that big horn at his 
shoulder's a bad sign here, boys. You know, Ruben yeah, well, kind of <laughs> leans over the counter and he's like, well, it looks like your friend is, uh, you know, a bit worse for the wear. Get him back up for now. We'll try to figure out what's up with the rabbit. All right. I'll, I'll walk over. Can you fucking grab this motherfucker and pull him away while I do this? I'm going to do healing hands on him. Bring him back okay. up. Okay. How many hit points are you giving him? Uh, two. That's all I can use. All right. So you go over there. You lay in hands him for two. Uh, so, frankly, you wake up with two hit points. Your maximum is still reduced, by the way. That, that won't go away till you take a long rest. Okay, so blood on his hand, we can see that? Uh, no, he saw that. All right, I'm going back to my, my spot back there because, uh, you know, that's what I do. Okay. So yeah, you wake up, Franklin. Uh, you're on the ground. Um, the rabbit is still nuzzling your arm. Like it was trying to get your attention. Mm. You know, so does Raven Sage Spellbook fl- fell on the ground? Like when he was pulling it out of his pack? Uh, the Spellbook fell. Like I assume he would have put the backpack on the counter to pull it out. So it's it's still there. All right, well, I'd like to resume the trade and just ignore the fact that he fainted like this. Okay. Yeah. So you just stand up? Yeah, I'm going to just stand up and continue the trade. And I'm going to I'm gonna check on that shady-looking dude. Is he doing anything weird? He does not appear to have even noticed that Franklin fainted. Okay, cool. Um, Franklin, so what are you doing with the rabbits? It's currently, it was like standing on the ground when you stood up. I'm going to set it back on the counter. Okay, yeah, so you pick it up and set it down on the counter. And, uh, you know, that's when you, like, realize as you're, like, pull, you know, taking your hands off of him, having just set him down there, that uh, it appears that that's where the blood's coming from. Because, like, like cause you, as you pull your hand off of him, you notice it's coated in fresh blood. Hmm. The rabbit's bleeding? The rabbit does not show any visible signs of bleeding. The rabbit did it, dog. That's what I've been saying. You motherfuckers don't listen. <laughs> oh, I'm knowing from the beginning. I'm just playing along. Oh, I should have. All right. Anyway, uh, identify for this book here. Yeah, he, the bar, you know, well, let me see the book. And uh, he kind of just quickly flips her. And he's like, yes, I think this would be acceptable. <laughs> He just places the book back behind the counter and begins casting a spell. Uh, part of the spell, he like, ends up poking the rabbit a couple of times. The rabbit does kind of like, almost like it was trying to like look cute to him, but uh, he just kind of ignores it and casts a spell. Hmm. And you see him frown. As well, that's that is strange. There is definitely transmutation magic emanating from this rabbit. However, identify does not tell me that it's any specific spell. Huh. Where did you find this? In a cave. Well, you, you that was a uh... brow at you. That was another reason that we came in here. Um, so, and I lean into the counter and sort of drop my voice to a whisper. Uh, what can you uh, tell me about the Cult of the Dead Three? And he kind of looks at you and he's like, well, nothing. Quick nothing. Anybody else chiming in here? Or oh, I'm still at the door, just chilling, scanning, making sure everything's night. I just in awe of this uh, weird rabbit that I've got. That rabbit that I told you to um, kill. You? Oh. No, it was Vajik. Vajik was the one who wanted me to keep it. Mm. Kill, murder it. I, mean, I would have recommended casting a fire from the very beginning, but yeah. 
Thunder, what was the deal with your uh, RD8, your D8 roll? That was how much uh, That's damage, how much damage Raylan right took. Oh, okay. <laughs> or rather, okay. how much damage you became aware of. Are we, uh, well, do our, do our so... surroundings still look Gucci? What? Do they surrounding still look good? Are we, are we, everything look clear? Nothing to really worry about from outside this conversation? No, yeah, not, you don't have any. You don't see anything that would worry you. Okay, cool. So you can't tell me anything about the dead three. Slide him a gold piece. Slide him ten gold pieces. Well, yeah. You well, which which are which is it? I'm hey. putting ten gold pieces to him. All right. Yep. Yeah, the bag it's kind of uh, grabbed off the counter. He's like, well. Rumor has it that the cult, which was once uh, thought stamped out, has reformed. And it's been grisly business. People have disappeared. There have been deaths. Given the refugee issue from El Terrell, the Flaming Fist has seen uh, particularly keen on uh, preventing this from becoming well known. This appearance is mainly in the upper city or the lower city? Oh, the lower city, like usual. They seem to prey not on any particular class or target of people, but rather those they can easily grab. There's the issue is is that uh, the people that do grab often leave traces behind, and panic will ensue should it become public. Well, what if I told you this uh, little friend here is uh, related to them somehow? What would that tell you about your lack of identify? Well, I would suggest killing it then with extreme prejudice. Does Franklin yeah. hear that? Yeah, go and take out my great axe and just bring it, bring all. I'm going to take out my ra uh, great axe, rage, and smack the shit out of it. Okay, make an attack roll. Give me one. Question under. If this turns into something, will the will Ridlin um, join in on the attack? If this transmutation... why don't you watch the rest of the movie and find out? <laughs> I I don't see how you would know that ahead of time. We, we will find out. Very well, very well. Sorry, <laughs> I just I we're drinking that. at a tavern, my man. Don't worry, we'll we'll tell you the story. Ah, uh, Slashbot's broke. Remember. Yeah. yeah, it's dead. Like, yeah, the developer basically gave up. At, hmm. at this time, it cuts back to me and Veg sitting there listening to the music, saying, uh, "I wonder what the guys are up to. You think they're right?" <laughs> yeah. It was actually a movie. Yeah, there would be a cut back to the bar of them just sitting there. You probably staring mm. back at the tiefling. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, Dude, she, she's kind of cute, right? I never met a girl that smoked. The All AC right. for it is 13. Crazy. What? I said the AC for the thing was 13, the Almirage. Mm -hmm. Of course, <laughs> as I said, uh, you, you don't exactly know what this is. Um, but that does hit, so go ahead and roll damage. Alright, so I've raged. And... Hit it with great axe. Yeah. All right, so that your axe fair. comes hurtling down into it and kind of cuts it almost in two. Blood spurting everywhere. And at this point, you should roll initiative. 
Everyone in the shop should. <sighs> That's back, and I'm waiting in line at the bathroom. Because you notice that the uh, two halves of the rabbit are slowly stitching themselves together. Hmm. But you guys are like at uh, you know full health and fighting ready, right? No, <laughs> I'm the only one that is. I think. Yeah. What's my initiative? Fucking. Oh, there it is. Silly goose. Oh, that one's busted. Sorry. No worries. We're not the one who's angering the dice gods. Why do all these bots sound... Get away. Get away from me. Get away from me. God damn. Okay, so... Steve, so yeah, you, you hear Franklin yell and swings his axe, kind of chopping the rabbit in two, which slowly appears to be knitting itself back together. Mm. You hear Ritalin just kind of exclaim, Not in here, you imbeciles! As blood <laughs> is like spraying off, you know, well, I shouldn't say spraying, spurting all over the place. Oh, I'm, I'm way back there. I'm feel like I'm going to get drawn into this. So I don't know if it's a good idea to skip a turn. Um. Hold an action. Yeah. Well, so I mean, you you're in movement range, so. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to join with you guys, I guess. So you're doing. So what are you doing? You're running up to it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm joining the rest of my party here. These guys. Um, up at the, uh, counter. Okay, you can do so. It is not 30 feet away. That's cool. So what do you do when you get there? Mm. Okay. I... Just looks for some potions and stuff. Just, uh... Damn. Let's do... Ah, fuck. I wanna... I'm going to have to attack it. Yeah, let's just fucking hit it again. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, what are you saying? That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. So. Sorry, I'm being a pussy. So you're attacking it? Yes, I am. With my mace. All right. Reluctant. Yeah, you try to hit it with your mace. It does. Uh, you basically miss. It, it kind of wiggles out of the way, and you uh, just kind of smack the counter with it. Ah, damn. All right, that's I guess that's it for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Ira. I'll poke it with my rapier. Aha. Uh -huh. Roll to hit. You hit. Yeah, you do. It's uh distracted. It's not distracted. However, there is an ally within five feet. Your cleric and Franklin. You would get sneak attack is what I'm getting at. Wonderful. Arg. Oh, that's right. You it doesn't work. It, it has to be a new message. The bots only get a callback when it's a new message. There isn't one for edits. 11. All right. Yeah. You stab into it a couple times for rapier. You know, little dots of blood appear and start slowly dripping down onto the counter. The, uh, it, it's, it's yeah. almost, it, it's almost like it's, uh, like you're poking through like a veneer of <laughs> rabbit and there's just this, like this red jelly that makes up its insides. Well, that's great. Yeah. It's red jelly, dog. That will be it for me. Just, I'm going to just take one action. <clears throat> okay. Franklin? Uh, I want to hit it with my 
great axe again. Okay. Um, stop. Why? Okay. All right, you hit. Roll damage. All right, yeah, so you chop into it with your big great axe, the jelly sort of losing its cohesion, the now liquid blood kind of running off the counter, both on the front and on the shop side. Rivlin is kind of standing here, just, you know, angrily yelling at you, you know, out, out, you fucking barbarians, out of my shop and never darken my door again. Christ, I'm going to have to clean this up. Uh. Was gonna offer to clean it up. You have done quite enough. Out, I say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, does that mean the rabbit? <laughs> yeah, you guys are out of initiative. The rabbit's dead. Uh, okay. I was, I was just making sure. Okay. So, what's up with the jelly dog? That's what I now want to figure out before we get kicked out here. Out, out before I call the fist. Ah. <sighs> All right, see you, dog. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Out! Okay, we're gone. See you later. Walk it out. Right now. This is us. Walking out. All right, you guys walk out. You hear more cursing behind you. Well, that was fun, boys. Glad the rabbit didn't murder the shit out of us. I could really go for a long rest. You guys have no idea. Yeah, frankly, I actually feel kind of lightheaded, like like you've had significant blood loss. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of like that. Do... He might be a were-rabbit. No, I don't think he was a were-rabbit. I think he was a transmutated... Uh... Oh, I meant you. I'm not oh, there me? also. I'm back... Uh... Whenever y'all we're going back, back to meet you guys to the bar. In in Elf the songs. interim, can I? Uh, I'd like to go back over to that T floor before they get back and call it. Okay, so you guys are heading back. So keeping it on the guys at Sorcerer's Center. So you guys are heading back towards Elf Song. Uh, well, yeah, I was going to see if I could get more uh, information. Is there any sort of historical religious somewhere I could go? Uh historical religious somewhere. Yeah, like a library with some historical references to religions and all that stuff like that. I'm gonna dig up some dusty old books here. Right. Um I'm going to the bar. So you would know that like the two probably best places to look for historical things. Yeah, I gotta clean it. Would be um, you know, see what uh, I either like the archives at the high hall, that which is like the center of government. So think of it like the Parliament Building. All right, or the High House of Wonders, the Temple to Gond, and also in the Upper City. Okay, well, you guys are welcome to head back to the bar. I'm going to see if I can get more information, so I'm going to yeah. head up to the libraries and do some reading. All right, Doug, we'll tell your story. All yep. right, so you guys split up. Going back oh, to the people in Elf Song. Which way are you going, Franklin? I'm going to the bar. I'm going to the bar? Okay, so I'm off by myself. You then. are right. off alone. So going back for a moment to the people in Elf Song, you are continuing to play. The tiefling woman seems content just to sit there and watch you guys. Hey. And so he's up there playing. We're chilling at the the table. She's been unabashedly like looking at me and uh, or us our way. 
Um, yeah, she she hasn't really been taking any pains to hide the fact that she's watching you. Just, but you know, every time you glance over, she just happens to be looking like right at you. Every time the movie cuts back to that scene, it's just her staring at them. <laughs> yeah, is it, it? Does she still have that like kind of contemptuous look, or um, you can't see her right, face because it's she has the hood of the cloak up. Yep, I see. Can I cast divine sense. You can. Uh, you can use divine sense. Okay, what's I'm my? I'm gonna just go sit at a bar and grab a pint. Oh, what Pretend is? Like I don't know these guys for now. You got it. <laughs> that's that a smart move. D twenty. Yeah. <laughs> so you. Um, you use that's a D twenty plus my modifier, right? Divine sense. No, divine sense is oh, an automatic you thing. You get you just get a certain number of those per long rest. Okay. Cool. Perfect. I'll, I'll cast divine sense. Do I sense anything in her direction? Well, yes. In fact, you do. In fact, you sense two fiends within range. Okay. One up on the ceiling. Mm. The other coming from the woman. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to look around for the fiend that is on the ceiling. Yeah, you look up to where Divine Sense is telling you it is. There's nothing there. It's just a bare ceiling. Okay. I lean over and say, "What? Uh, what's the deal, dude?" Um, I did divine sense, and I'm sensing two fiends in the room. Um, one is on the ceiling, and one is coming from our tiefling friend over in the corner. Um. Oh. Interesting. Yes. Very, very I, interesting. I don't want to steal your thunder, but a, a tiefling is going to ping a. Th- you knew it was a tiefling, so you knew that would ping a, a fiend. Ah, uh, well, no, I was gonna ask it because I'm a tiefling, no. so I tiefling, would assume tieflings I would are humanoid. Well. Oh, okay, then it is interesting. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Uh, you don't even know what's going on right now, so he doesn't. That was a meta yeah. conversation, which is why I butted in to tell him he was wrong. Fucker, <laughs> sucker, nerd, and fucking. All right. Uh, well, I lean over. I'm like, all right, man. Well, well, that's not good. Uh, glad you did that because I was gonna go flirt again. Um, um, although, would you like fiend. to go uh, question our our tiefling fiend friend? Uh, no. no. I think <laughs> that, uh, leave her alone. Got it. I think that we should really fucking stop taking risks before we hear. Yes. Uh, obviously, uh, they she's been staring at us, uh, and obviously, I'm, try, I'm keeping my voice down, trying not like yelling this. To yeah, us, we're we're, cool. we're both whispering between not each other. moving, okay. whispering. Why don't you guys make music, a stealth check? We can't hear each other. Stealth? Sure. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Now, do I still get disadvantage? No, even not... though I'm not like. Oh moving. yeah, yeah. This is this is just basically how. Well, you can disguise your obvious conspiratorial whispering. I can't. Yo, we're just talking to each other at a table. Well, you know, as, as you do. We already course. fucking lost. I mean, I can't. I can't see them like that. Obviously, conspiring about something and play a little louder and distract. <laughs> I guess no. Never mind. Yeah, Magic is screaming and pointing at her. No, no, he didn't <laughs> say he was doing that. So, so he. I, is- uh, I kind of just laugh really loud, like, oh, man, she's oh, fucking killing me, man. No. This guy, he's, uh, he's a real trip. He just tried to recruit someone else to the party. Um, and I'm like, dude. I don't know if that worked, but um, I would like to, you know, I'm just keeping my voice down. Man, we need to, uh, let's just act cool. Let's go collect, uh, collect um, Steve just got back over there. And uh, they're let's, not there uh, let's yet. try to. They're not. Oh, there I yet. thought he said he came in. Okay. No, um, they said they were heading there. That they, they told me their intentions, but we haven't covered that yet. Mm, yeah. This is well, ba- then, basically I'm... this is occurring. This conversation simultaneously. Having, that's what I would occurring think so, simultaneously yeah. with them just having finished chopping up a a uh, rabbit in the middle. Peanut of butter and rabbit series. sandwich. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 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 I, I, yeah, I, I wasn't sure if that was happening. Um, Good, good. That makes sense. All right. Well, then, instead of that, I say we let's just let's keep an eye on her and uh, mm-hmm. and, and keep an eye out for whatever the hell's going on up in the ceiling. 
Yes. Um, and just play it cool until the guys get back and then make tracks. So we're at full, full, almost full strength. I agree. I agree. Continue to listen to the music. And who's playing the music? Um, I am. Be, yeah, that'd be right it. Um, oh, Ron. The bard. <laughs> let's, um, yeah. So I, I'm keeping an eye, you know, just sitting there chatting with or just kind of acting normal, drinking a little bit here and there, and uh, just keeping my eyes kind of um, peeled for any movement from above. Okay. And uh, uh-huh. playing it chill. Um, I leave the bar and try to join to Elhan play. on Ooh. play music with him. What? 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 You don't have an instrument. Um, is there not a <laughs> instrument at the, the ghost place? No. <laughs> oh, never mind. El- Elrond's <laughs> basically busking with his own instrument in the middle of the bar. Okay. 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 This bar is bring your own loot. So very but, well. Yeah. So. <laughs> Okay. Like, like the next time you happen to glance over at the tiefling, she does raise the glass of wine to you kind of like as a salute. Okay. Mm-hmm. I raise it back. Uh, uh, I join. <laughs> I, I, as, uh... Yeah, I, I raise it back and, um, you know, just uh, nod forward a little bit to uh, to kind of nudge my horns out of my uh, my my cloak hood a little bit. I like to keep it up to kind of keep a low profile, but uh, I just want to convey that uh, in case you are also a tiefling. I'm also a a half. Hmm. I think I'm chatting. I I I look at Veg. Oh, I don't expect it. Yeah. And uh, I look at Veg as he walks back confused and say, uh, so how'd it go, buddy? Oh, it, uh, I realized that you... there was no instruments for me to play, so I uh, I came back. <laughs> I so wish I had something for you, because uh... right. can I vocalize for with and harmonize with uh, Elrond? Are you proficient in in uh, performance? By the way, um, I have a plus two uh, modifier. That doesn't answer my question. Um, no, proficient my proficiency, um, uh, my proficiencies are in, I'd say it was yes or no. Okay. So no. yes, you can go up there and vocalize for him. Um, good luck with that. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my. What's your character's intelligence? My character's intelligence is a 10. Oh, well then you're playing this perfectly. You think <laughs> ten is yeah. average? Ten is average intelligence. Like that's that's middle of the the curve. Yes. Um. Do I roll for performance check? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Where is this uh, green, dark green cloaked lady in um, relation to me? I'm, I'm okay. So I'm in between the bar and her. Is what I'm picturing. No, not quite. Uh, let me. I, I, yeah, give me a second. I can pull up a map of the bar for you. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Can we retroactively um, say that he actually had a purpose, and when he went up to the stage, he told uh, any of this to our, our <laughs> buddy up there? What? Instead of just like stumbling up to like find a, a harmonica, like like Job Popper, <laughs> I, can we? For t- I mean, retroactively say that he like went up there and kind of was just like, hey, just keep your eyes out. I, I, mean, I mean, if he said that, but probably not. Uh, I'm, just, <laughs> um, I'm appealing to the gods right now, because uh, so far we've been like a, well, like yeah, like that a I don't Marx mind. Brothers cartoon. Yes. Like the three stooges of the Middle, middle Earth. <laughs> Alright, so this is Elf Song Tavern. You guys are basically at the table just south of the bar in E1. The tiefling woman is in the, like, cubby to just to the left of the window, the bay windows. Elrond's kind of just playing 
in like the middle of the floor, like just, just the so base, basically just where like, E1 uh, is. Yeah, around where the E1 lettering is. And so where? Wait. Go on. Is she? So she's in the cubby just beneath E4. Uh, no, she's at the one in the bottom most leftmost corner. Okay, but she's not yes. in like the innermost seat. She is seated <laughs> closest to the bay window, almost out of the cubby. So I can not see her or barely see her. You can easily see her. Oh, okay. So it's that angle. All right. And whereabouts was that? Um, uh, was that demon or the the fiendish presence located on the the scene? Like where were you pointed out? Roughly? Oh, it's right mm -hmm. above your table. Mm. Oh. Ah. Cool. Is and if I casually kind of look up, is can I see the ceiling fine? Is it's not like yeah, a, you can a, see a the light just thing? Fine. It it well it is yeah. dim up there, but with your dark vision, you have no problem seeing up there. There's nothing. And there. I see nothing. Okay. No d distortion. Out of character, is it a possibility that it's on the second floor? No. If it has um, total cover, it won't show up. And that's true. If it has total cover, it won't show up. Also, he knows the distance and direction, so he'd be able to tell that it was too high up to be on the second. Like it's it's lower it's lower than the ceiling. Oh, shit. it's, it's like just like below the ceiling. I don't know if I believe that he would know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm of average intelligence. <laughs> like you, you know that you know the height above you would roughly put it at like you know a foot below the ceiling, like it's sitting on a rafter or something. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's rafters up there, so it's not just like um. There's exposed there, there are places to for places yeah, so for something like to hide. Timber. It's not like it's invisible, most likely. Okay, cool. Uh, it would be hard. It would be extremely difficult to hide up there. Hmm. Oh. So it is. We're talking oh, exposed I'm... timbers, not, not really like super. Like, there's not a lot of dark places up there to hide in. It's just dim because most of the lights focused on the ground where the people are. Okay, so did Magic tell me what's going on as he approached me, or um, I did not. What I'm trying to get across, Mercy, is that if a creature was there, you would expect to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. Understood. Um... Do I? Do I know this after he approached me trying to play an instrument that wasn't there? That what? I, I don't follow what you're trying to do here. Uh, so, so Mercius was trying to plead that when he approached me to try to perform with me that he filled me in? Or did that not happen? Or just like, say, well, say like keep your eyes open with, or something. Um, when I went to go harmonize and vocalize for you, um, I then I... Um, filled you in on what's going okay. on. Okay, well, is it too late for that? <laughs> yeah, that's no, no, that's fine. fine. No, that's that the last is fine. thing I did. Yeah, okay. that's the last thing I did. So we can always settle that he got over there and said, "I know I was going to tell you something." And yeah, yes. Yeah. You can basically go up there. You can whisper in his ear as he's playing, you know, his instrument, and then you can start singing. Yes. What does that sound like? Well, let's find out. So, Elron and Vagic, can you please both make uh, performance checks? Yes, I can. Bang bot, right? Yes, uh, slash bot is uh, probably not coming back. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> well, um, it's, not, it's not white strangling cats. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but there, but you do see the patrons occasionally wince. <laughs> All right, can I go ahead and use <laughs> this? Is mm. I'm just gonna assume. Um, I think I'm killing it. Oh, yeah, gonna... you <laughs> think you're doing great. No. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and use a mage hand and kind of just leave my instrument there as he comes up to vocalize and go take a seat at the bar. Is the one on the east open? Sure. Yeah, I think it's the the only seat on the east. This place was this like a karaoke bar? What are we in right now? No, it's not a karaoke <laughs> yes. bar. So, we're, but you're turning it into one. one. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is becoming like a like a spaghetti western or something like this. Just... 
someone's gonna fall out of a double door and yeah so as i hear him as i hear him start to sing that, that's what even though I... Eastwood gets thrown through the window oh wait no <laughs> <laughs> even though i think he's killing it i'm gonna go ahead and just like leave my mandolin up there playing with mage hand and go ahead and sit down at the bar mm-hmm <laughs> I make eye contact with you from my table and just be like, what the fuck? It's so funny. And mouth. What? (laughs) (laughs) So, Uh, let's turn our attention at this point to Arya. So, Arya, where are you headed? uh, You said there was two options. One was like the um, basically Library of Congress and then the other one would be more... uh, like a religious sect? Yes, there's the High House of Wonders, which is the Temple of Gond in the city. It's the largest temple. Okay. I'll probably have and then there's High the Hall, which is the, basically the center of all of the government activity in Baldur's Gate. It's, it's, think of it like the House of Parliament, the Capitol, all of that all in yeah. one. Where, okay. Where uh, uh, the first one, the uh, Gowl. Okay. So you start making your way there. You will have to pay the toll to get through the gate. Yep, couple copper. Yep, couple copper. Paid. All right, yeah, and you start approaching the High Hall of Wonders. High House of Wonders, my bad. So it's High Hall and House of Wonders. The High Hall and the High House of Wonder. That's not confusing at all. I know. I know. <laughs> it's written down though now, so that's that's good. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, so you start approaching it. It's a large, you know, almost cathedral-sized building, and you know that this is a basically a vast workshop as the as Gond is kind of the god of craft, and uh, the acolytes in there, you know, are always working inside of there, turning out various tinkering uh, inventions and whatnot that are kind of displayed as a museum almost. Uh, but you can always hear as you're kind of you know approaching, you can always hear the dull thud of anvils being worked. All right, so big open room when I walk in. Anybody? Uh notice me or look my way uh, there's an acolyte at the entrance it kind of welcomes you to the high house of wonders and uh you know feel free to ask them any questions if you uh need i'm gonna approach them and uh, ask them if there's any uh anywhere quiet well i raise my eyebrows when i were say the word quiet uh that i could possibly look for some reading material some history i'm looking up Well, that all depends on what kind of history you're searching for. We have vast records here of all of the inventions that have come through here, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, no, more of a religion history. Oh, you're looking for the history of Gond and its worship here. We also have that as well. Uh, not Gond in particular, just religion in general. I'm sure we have some basic theological texts here. That'd be um, perfect. However, there is the uh, the as I'm sure you're aware, libraries aren't exactly cheap to maintain, and donations are always appreciated. Oh, of course. How about fifteen silver? That's what I'll pull out of my pouch. Oh, of course. Any donation would, is uh, you know certainly accepted. Thank you for your generosity. Do you need directions to the library? Um, sure. It wouldn't hurt. Okay. She points off to some stairs in the north corner and says, you go down those stairs to the lower level. You'll walk down the hall, take the first left, then the third right, then the second left, and it will be the fifth, fifth door on your right near the end of the hall. All right. It will be labeled study room. 
And that does make it a little easier to figure out which door I need. All right, I'll head off that way. Okay. Yeah, so you descend the stairs, you see an occasional acolyte. Uh, it's fairly well lit, there are torches. You're able to navigate to that door without any real issues. All right, what do I find inside? Is it locked? Probably not. It is not locked. So you walk inside, and it's basically a couple of small, like, uh, you know, like the archetypical like high school desks with like the desk and attached chair. There, there's oh, like okay. a dozen of those, and then the walls are lined with uh, shelves of books. Books and, and scrolls abound. Not so much scrolls; more almost they're almost all books from the looks of it. Oh well, and, if I see any scrolls, see, I'll start with them. Say again. I said if I see any scrolls, I'll start with them. Those are typically older parchments. Okay. Uh, well, go ahead and make an investigation check to look for your information. You are on it with these rolls tonight, bro. Yeah, so you start looking through, and you find this old, dusty scroll that was almost crunched into the back behind another tome. And... When you pull it out, you know, what couple things strike you. One, most of the books in here are copies. In fact, a couple of the acolytes of God that you see there appear to be using this time to copy manuscripts from one book to another. It's a very labor-intensive process, but that's basically how it was done in the day. Which is why these are almost all books, is they are all copies. Um, however, the scroll, scrolls typically aren't. And uh, this scroll looks old and kind of cracked. Well, I will be very careful with it. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of scroll have I found? All right, well, you kind of carefully start unfurling it. And it appears, at first glance, to be an incident report from the Flaming Fist which is be very curious to find in a theological library. Very curious, yes. you think that'd be in the other place. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, you begin to... Do you read it, or are you just going to leave? Um, I'll start reading it. Okay, so you start reading it. It's rather short, only about a paragraph. A couple things jump out to you, though, right away. One, it's an incident report about the Dead Three from about 40 years ago. Two, it's uh, a report from the head of the Flaming Fist, uh, Ravenshield, the current High Duke, who's missing, uh, to the then, or sorry, Ravenguard, Grand Duke, older Ravenguard. He is the current leader. He was also the head of the Flaming Fist. And it's... Uh, a note from him to the then Grand Duke Yaldrair, which was a well-known wizard at the time. Because of the J, by the way. Here, I'll, I'll spell it. And in it, he uh, says that, you know, they've taken out all of the cultists. They've burned them out at the root and there are no there is no more activities inside the city however he is concerned because he found evidence that a fairly high up individual in the government was involved in them and that individual was inkblot lovely Unless there's somebody named Inkblot in the city. There is not. Too, no, it's a literal Inkblot. It was intentionally removed? Like, oh, like it was... There, was writing there, there was the writing there before and the Inkblot was put over it to hide it? Or is it just like he didn't write it and there's a giant Inkblot there? Right, well, with that kind of investigation, you're kind of looking at it and you're, you're pretty sure that 
that's someone trying to hide their involvement. That that is not an accidental ink blot. So it's, yeah, it's a it's a blacked out spot. <laughs> someone attempted to redact this that name and make it look like it was an accident. Okie dokie. Um well I am going to see um oh shoot. Is there any very thin parchment around here? Or um oh. wait, 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 wait. I have fine clothing. Would that include silk? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of silk out of the fine clothing and see if I can do a chalk rub on it. Um, that doesn't Cold work pressure. on text, you know. Yeah, it does. Chalk rubbing on... All right, do you have any silly paper? putty? Uh, oh, I see what you're getting. My, yeah, I'm sorry, I was impression. thinking... I, yeah, well, okay, it doesn't... I suppose I could actually just dust chalk on it and brush it off gently with the silk. That's actually what you would have to do to get a good copy. Yeah, like that might... thing, basically. Yeah. Um, trying to think of physical rubbing of it. Um, the yeah, I thought about that after I said the, it. <laughs> of the silk is more than the uh, thickness of your ink. It wouldn't actually give you anything. But yes, you could, you know, using um, some dust on, you know, sp lightly dusting the uh, silk and heating and rubbing it to heat it up onto the parchment would allow you to transfer a rather faded but adequate image of what was written below the ink blot no it would be a copy of the document as written it would have the the blot the ink blot would show up as a blot oh no i'm going specifically to try um drawing out the the pressure of the ink below the ink blot because the ink blot oh, was just I see on top of yeah the indentations of the lettering. Right, right. I give okay. Sorry, I, I misunderstood what you were, you were trying to do here. No worries, that's what we're talking about. It. Yep. Okay, so um, yeah, you're able to get some chalk dust, and you, what you do is you you kind of lightly coat the back of the parchment and kind of press it down into the into the silk, and then um, when you pull it up, it would reveal the indentations made through the uh, parchment onto the silk. That works. Yeah, we're, we're both I, I know. You were, yeah, yeah, we're, we're kind of hand-waving how this would work in real life, but close enough. With the 23 investigation, it's it's not that hard. Like Holmes, motherfucker. <laughs> and it's, it's not a perfect blot. Um... But uh, you're able to glean do that uh, you get the the name is fairly long, and you're only able to get clear readings on four of the letters. Begins with a V, it ends with an R, and there is a TH in the middle. Can I guess how many characters are between each of those spots? Between the TH and the V, two. Between the TH and the R, four. So it's VH, two unknown letters, or V, two unknown letters, TH, four unknown letters, R. If I heard you correctly. Yeah, yeah. kind of like this. Okay, yep, that's what I got. Okie dokie. Um, well, that is useful information. I am going to roll the scroll back up and tuck it back on the shelf, um, dusting off the chalk and everything like that to okay. subvert the fact that I was messing with it. <laughs> and then, um, is there any other scrolls or books that stood out to me? No, there's a very... Besides just a kind of a cursory note of, you know... Um who the dead three are and kind of like the basic tenets of, you know, being the gods of murder, torture, and tyranny. Or sorry, murder, death, and tyranny. Um, it really isn't a whole lot of information on the dead three here. So just the basic Wiki, uh, Wikipedia cliff notes. Yes. Okay, nope. This isn't so, exactly surprising to you. Uh, you know that... There's not a lot of information going around about them, yeah. Yeah, and, and also kind of looking into them is kind of frowned upon as is worshipping them. Okie dokie. Um, 
All right. Well, I will head back to the party then. Okay. That's enough information to go off of for now, and we need to get our long rest in at some point. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you start heading back to Elf Song. It's uh, about that time that uh, Steve and Franklin will show up at Elf Song Tavern, walking in probably towards the end of Elrond, Elrond's um, and Vagic's uh, <clears throat> rather subpar duet. Yeah, I, I pretend I don't know them. And I go sit at the bar and order an ale. Mm-hmm. I'm with him on that. Okay. I, what uh, what instrument do you play, Elrond? Just out of I had my mandolin up. Uh, I, who needs a heart? I just imagine Vag playing uh, Blues Traveler. Um, I, has anything changed with this uh, this lady's position? Nope. I um, I hit my divine sense real quick and uh, back up above us is that fiendish presence still there as well? Yep. Are there any new present, presence? Nope. Alright, and, and it, okay. Do I... I don't get a definite shape or anything, do I? It's just like kind of a like a glow, like a circular glow or like... It's not visual, so there's no glow. It's more of uh, like a just feeling. Like a feeling. Uh, yeah, like a pro perception or something. Kind of like how if you were to close your eyes and you can kind of feel where your hand is in relation to your body, that kind of thing. Okay. I imagine it was like a chill up the spine because it's a fiend. Um, as for general shape, I don't think so. I think it you really just kind of get a blob feeling. You know, it's you you know it's not super super big. It could, yeah, I don't know it any could idea. be, um, you know, it could be anything human size or smaller. Could be a familiar. It's just, you know, it's definitely a fiend. It is definitely a fiend. You know, it's so, a fiend. You know, it's location. You know yeah, that know it is a fiend. It. You're not sensing a celestial or undead. Gotcha. Yep. 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 Okay. Um. Well, I mean, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm continuing to play it cool. Kind of trying to like, I guess, casually gesture at my friends. Everyone, everyone's kind of going to chill at the bar, and I'm, I need to. I, I want to try to gather these folks and get uh, get a move on when we can, or at least get us prepared. Um, so, I, 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 you know, I, I just go up, stand up, and go over to the bar with, uh, with Steve and Franklin. No, we don't know you, dog. <laughs> I, uh, I finished up my set there. I did a couple songs and I'm ready to go back to the table with um, my buddy. Okay. Oh, yeah. You start, you stop singing and start oh, going not, towards not the right. table or the bar. Y- yes. You notice that or there is a versus. general loosening of tension in the bar as you do so. Like oh. letting out sighs of relief. <laughs> good, good. Good, good, good. He doesn't <laughs> get like the thank God you stopped playing cheers. Yeah, I, did, I didn't do too bad. I didn't roll in that one. So, <laughs> can I retrieve my mandolin and I'll sit at the table with uh, Badge? Because it'd be just me and Badge at the table now. No, yeah. I think it's Oh Mercius went up to the bar now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go yeah. in the table with Badge. Hey, what Oops. time? Under dark. What time is it right now? Eight forty. Okay. Jeez, yeah. it's only been an hour. <laughs> Actually, that is true. With all the walking, it would have been longer. So let's say four o'clock. Let's go yeah, play some fucking like even more walking. some craps or something, guys. We got time to waste. Oh, they got, dice, they got dice. They got dice upstairs. I know that. I have <laughs> dice on me. Yeah, but I want to play for money. For I would not recommend using those in a bar full of people in this town. Yes. Oh, you have like use, loaded dice. Use the dice that are at the bar and provided by the bar. Okay. I just just gonna throw that out there real quick. Don't you're sitting at the no table. Fight. You're <laughs> sitting at the table. You don't even know what's you're talking with uh, Elron and I'm not you all are like party. I'm I'm just throwing that out there. Um, yeah. actually I want to go to the high hall I, before I head back. Great. I woke okay. up to the bar. <laughs> I clap Steve on the back and say, uh, uh how are you guys doing? How'd the uh was the trip? I look at Franklin and say, Hey man, where's your uh, where's your little bunny buddy? Hey, who uh, are you? How are you? 
Uh, my name's Steve. Nice Are to, you, and you're nice here to, to say? You. you too, buddy. So, what, so, um, so, Steve, you only don't know me, is what you're pretending. I'm pretending to not know any of you right Oh, now. very good. Because right. if, if something hits the fan, I'm the one that's going to be able to sense that. So uh, I'm basically playing dumb. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to play dumb. And that's what we're going to do. Do you convey this with your eyes or I, I just I, like I kind of just keep my hand on your shoulder. No, I am say. literally saying, hey, how sure, are sure, you? Sure, 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 sure. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, Franklin, buddy. What uh, how'd everything go? Well, rabbit's dead. Uh. <laughs> oh. Turns Not, out. Uh, turns out. It was slowly killing me the more I carry it. Oh man, like emotional burden. Heavy. It's, it's tough being a dad. Right, kind of like my ex-wife. Jesus. <laughs> too, too soon. Too soon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was like six hours ago. <laughs> Uh, but um, well, that was a fun experiment. I, I that's a bummer. Where uh, where's uh, Ira at? Um, I honestly don't know. I could care yeah. less. Oh, is everything all right, buddy? I just killed my pet rabbit. Hey, man. I mean. You only had it for like an hour. <laughs> I get it, though. I do get it. Um, you want to go play some dice? Did that cheer you up, man? Play a little some dice? No. I'm going uh, I'm to drink myself. Uh, you want um, to sleep. turtles eat? You want some like, some like brown pebbles? That's ducks. And uh, no. <laughs> all right. Let's just have a drink, then. I'll buy you... Uh, I'll buy a, I'll buy a round. Well, I'll buy a round for us and uh, and the boys at the table, and then we'll just leave uh, Steve yeah. to his own. Devices. I I drunkenly walk up to Arya and <laughs> say, "Not there yet." I can't what are you wait. Doing? He's not there yet. Oh no, not 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 Arya. Uh, who was our friend Merxius? I walk up to no. <laughs> okay, <You see? laughs> I'm like walking to you with drinks in my hand. And I walk up and greet you, buddy, and give you a hug. Hey, man. Yes, yes, yes. What's uh, what's up, kid? You did great. Oh, Go. Not much. Um, so I whisper um, to him, so there is a fiend. There are two fiends in this bar. One is directly above our table that we apparently cannot see. And then that tiefling over in the corner. Um, Just to be clear, you're whispering this to me? Oh, I had already discussed this with you. But that, <laughs> is, that is me being I was drunk. here with you the whole time. Yes. I know. Um, you're, you're really playing this drunk character again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Jeez. weird because I am. What's I, up, you know, dude? I'm really good at being I, drunk. I, so. I, I take a step back. And I, I put down one of the drinks, and I put my hand out and say, "Hey, I'm Merxius. I've been here the whole time. Uh, I, we're gonna take your cut off, bud. But you did a great job. Um, go I have a seat at the bar. I walk up. I apologize to him. Say I'm sorry. I've just had a few too many much to drink. And then I walk over to Franklin. Franklin's there. Yes. He's right beside yes. me. Yeah. 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 Yes. You turn I, to the right. I whisper to Franklin and tell him the same information I just reshared with Merxius. Wish you lean and go, I have to walk away. Yes, I also and lean then... in with at the end of and in, in the cap of my information sharing, I mention I really have to pee. Thunder Doctors went to like make dinner. Out of character, are you guys gonna fuck? Only a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I mean, if he's the one taking it, I will. Ooh. Uh, through D and D, I mean, my guys, you know, 
As long as you're like a bear. Hey, hey, Veg, don't get to the stage and forget your instrument. Am I right? Walk away. <laughs> I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, I'm but I do, I do try to nonchalantly men- mention the uh, information about the fiends to Franklin and hope and in hopes of him passing it on to Steve. Oh, he joined the group. Leave me out of this. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'll walk over wave to that my... table we were sitting at. I, I, I didn't even wait for any of this nonsense. I'm... Wave my hand yeah. to shoo him away. I, I had, I had hugged you, and you just were like, "All right, well, you're drunk. Bye." And then walk to the table. I just shoo him away with my hand. <laughs> Can I notice from the table? Be like, Steven, you made it, dude. What's going on, man? I ignore him. <laughs> Steve, I, why are you ignoring me, dude? I shout out, Steve, what are you doing, bro? Come sit with us. <laughs> I'm not getting sucked into this. I ignore him completely. As, I'm at the pretty top sure you might lungs. as well just give in. Steve, <laughs> you're not going to lie. my lungs. Steve, that's you. I know you. Get I'm over having like PTSD flashbacks to like that one weird friend in All middle right. school. <laughs> <laughs> like yell across the lunchroom like, hey, man! It's like, <clears throat> you're so sad to hear. me. All right. Well, fuck. Go sit down. <laughs> all right. And then we, we, we all sit at the table. Okay. You are a, a, is a cock blocker of both storytelling <laughs> and self. <laughs> and, also, I just keep, you know. and then I'm no longer allowed to drink. So I just sit there. I got cut off. So I just sit there. I hope you're saying All this right. out loud. Um, so yeah, t- uh, how do you feel about all that, Underdark? It's great, right? <laughs> Fine with me. Can I ask the guys like, where's Ira at? What'd you guys do to him? He's doing his own thing. I, yeah. Just, what? How was? How was? He might have uh, just like got embarrassed and left. <laughs> I was going and seeing Ritalin, guys. Um, it was a shit show. Sure, sure, sure. A, I, a I look at it and say, sit the next couple plays out, champ. You just kind of hang out and uh, <laughs> just, um, I hand, <laughs> uh, what do I have? I give him a, uh, a, a pair of manacles that I have and say, yeah, here, play with these shiny, shiny things. Okay, and I play with said shiny thing, things and are distract- and am distracted by them. <laughs> What the um, fuck is going on? All right. So that's yeah. gotta be like it's gotta be like six o'clock now, right? No. Um, <laughs> I, I look at the guys and, and I just quietly fill them in. Say, uh, "Well, that was a hot mess. You see what I've been? There's two fans yeah. in here, so keep eyes out. One directly above us. Don't look up. Cool. A drink. I'm not looking up." Just and we bro. will, cool, cool, cool. Don't even need to acknowledge. Um, just keep drinking. When Ira gets here, we we'll pay her. All right. So you guys kind of do your hush hush and your social shenanigans. Ira, right, meanwhile, you've wandered over to the high hall. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through public records from 40 years ago and uh, see if that name stands out anywhere with that spacing and characters. Okay. So, the High Hall holds libraries containing all the local laws and ordinances, summaries of judicial decisions and trial outcomes, deed records, guild charters, census tallies, and family genealogies for all of the noble houses and sufficiently important commoners. The records go back to the city's founding, encompassing centuries of meticulously maintained documents. The libraries don't share a common index. And sorting through their overlapping and idiosyncratic organi- organized holdings will take a significant portion of time. Is there anybody that looks bored that's standing around? So the library, as you can imagine, does employ librarians, and you. it is fairly well known, especially among people who run in government circles, that you know, the librarians have a general idea of where things are kept, and you can pay them to find stuff for you, rather than having to search yourself. 
So basically what I know is I'm looking for a, a high-ranking government individual with a, a particular spelling that I should be able to pick out of a list relatively easy from 40 years ago. Is there some way I can narrow that down that's not like super conspicuous? I'm looking for this name, and I can ask one of them to help me find that? Like a list of all of the um, Grand Dukes at the time, or something along that line? Yeah, you can you can uh, go to the library and ask them for like a like a census of like forty years ago of like the patriarchs and yeah, and, that's uh, sufficiently point. important commoners. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what's price tag on that? Kind of things like well, it's fairly recent census, so it's not exactly you know comprehensive or anything. Oh, let's say gold. All right. All right, so the uh, it's a gnome, by the way. I love gnomes. Yep, it's the gnome. So you pay him. Yes, All right. I'll uh, give him a gold. All right, and he says, "Great, give me five minutes." And he wanders off down the shelves. Five minutes goes by. Then ten minutes. Then fifteen. Then the gnome shows up. And, and you can see he's covered in dust, and he's holding this rolled up parchment like it's a sword well, or a baton. Um, and he's kind of like pointing it at you, like on, on point. He's like, aha, it was difficult, but I found it. Here is the census record you requested. Well, you did a fabulous job. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. And then he just, and he's like, but I gotta get back to work. And he starts wandering off again. Alright. So, using this as a reference, can I find that name now? Alright, yeah. So you open it up and you start looking through lists of patriarchs and commoners. Can you just give me another uh, investigation check real quick? Okay, so you start looking through it. Two names stand out to you. One that matches almost perfectly. The other is close, and so that's why I'm including it. The one that matches almost perfectly would be Van Thamper. And they're listed as uh, kind of a, a family in charge of the sewer system. They're sanitation engineers. The other is a political family called Vanith, who fled to Baldur's Gate from Neverwinter after some intrigue went south up north. <laughs> Van Thamper also stands out to you for another reason. Sewer system, obviously. So, what? Being in charge of the sewer system. Yeah. Also, one of the Circle of Four, or Council of Four, is currently Duke Thal uh, Thalamra. Van Thamper. Oh, interesting. Hey, Underdark, uh, just for clarification, as, as far as our story goes out of character, um, is this, are we in the same timeline universe as the Ballspawn situation? And if so, is that this is after, already... This is after okay. the Ballspawn crisis. Perfect. Thank you. Sorry. Yep, Go no on. Problem. That, that's one of the reasons and the impetus for the whole Purge of the Dead 3. All right. And then what was the spelling for that other name? The honorable mention? Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's just say that, that the cloud they came they came running from. Well, let's just say that you wouldn't put it past that family to employ assassins or less reputable folk. Okay. 
Well, with all of this acquired information, I'm going to, I'm heading back to the party. So I'm back through the gate and, uh, all right. So you start heading back towards the party on your way there though. You are waylaid. Fun. Yes. A dwarf, you know, yells out your name on the street as he starts running towards you, waving this thick sheaf of what looks to be parchment at you as he's running towards you in these brown robes. Uh-huh. He's literally running down the street, just yelling out, Arya, 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 I got to show you this. This is for you. And he walks up and just kind of shoves it like almost into your chest. Like, you need to see this. Oh, okay. It's a bomb. And he, it appears to be a piece of bark that he's holding up to you. With a strange symbol engraved on it. Or stained on it, I should say. Do I recognize the dwarf? So, uh, are you from the city? Or are you a refugee? I can't remember. Uh, neither. Neither. So you're a visitor, though? Yes. So, no, you don't recognize the dwarf. And he tells you that, that it is a message from the drawing tree in Insight Park. And then he says, but I have to get back. And he turns and starts sprinting off down the road away from you as quickly as he can, leaving you with this stained piece of bark in your hands. Um, the image of the bark looks like that. Okay, on closer inspection, is there anything other than that on the bark? Please, I uh, that would be an investigation check. Nope, just that symbol. Okay, I'll uh, huck it in my pack. Uh, how big is it? It is. About six inches by four inches. Okay, so just a piece of bark, like uh, birch th- tree bark, or more like willow. Tree. Totally it's average. Oh, almost, almost parchment thick thickness. But it's a single piece of bark with that symbol stained on it, and it is stained in color. Okay, I will put it in my pack and go back to the party. Okay. Yeah, it's it's approaching six o'clock by the time you get back to Elf Song Tavern. The party is at the bar. Nothing Bez else is really happening. Sleep the, face uh, down in drool. And, uh, I mean, you can play if you with... want to be. No, 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 no. no. Um, yeah. <laughs> Does Arya get a very warm welcome from the drunken party? <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm certainly not drunk. Um, I've been pacing myself and keeping my eyes out. I would like to give Arya a very, very warm welcome. Very touchy feely, almost <laughs> uh, homoerotic. I uh, well, welcome. she's the girl, so I'm, I'm a woman. Oh well, then mm. <laughs> so very just... hetero. Hetero. <laughs> Erotic. And then the colorful woman holds you at arm length. He's, he's checking you like a greyhound. Ah, yeah. Nice haunches. And uh, we. I, try to I pick just. Up Aria. I just look at Ira yeah. and just uh, give a look of. Uh, then I, I'll flag down the. Uh, uh, the barkeep, or I guess I'll just go up to the bar. I don't know if it's <laughs> do like the check thing. I walk up to the bar and uh, I don't ask if uh, do we uh, have a tab or anything we need to pay, good sir. I don't know if I already paid. So that would just be covered under your lifestyle expense, you know, for like the meals and the food and the drink and the in the room. Got it. Well, I. Um... I pay that, and then I, uh, I, I flip another uh, five golden to say thank you so much for uh, for your serv- service here and your pay and your patience with uh, with my friend over there. I uh, really appreciate you, and uh, I hope you have a great night. Bid him adieu to you as well. And I fucking I just did. We already have rooms, or uh, do you we have like a- rooms? 
I wasn't sure if that was something we had done previously because I would like to just beeline it to that uh, and not <laughs> wait around it. Can I lean to like Mercius and be like, I don't really feel comfortable staying here. Do you think we can find somewhere else? Oh no! I, yeah, I was going to an inn. This is a this bar. This is an inn. Oh jeez! Well, I'm going to it's the a out. It, it it also has rooms for rent to to sleep in. <laughs> well, that's great. Is there another place that? Uh, well, a we lot of block go? away is another tavern called the Blade and Stars. Ooh. Let's go to the. Do I know place. anything about that offhand, or have have? Well, I used to have the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we know a lot about the Blade and Stars. Oh, yeah, okay. we no, oh, we don't. No. We all died. <laughs> oh no! It's the Jeez. it's the tavern from the previous campaign. Um, <laughs> they have really nice rooms. They do uh, have good rooms. Busted out from I uh, don't know why. <laughs> all the beds are shaped like coffins. It's very weird. All right. Um, Jesus Christ. All right. So, is, <laughs> yeah, I guess it, let's go to the Blade and Stars. Let's go there, please. We can, let's just, yeah, I mean, shoot, we can just go out and ask strangers, um, but we just need to get away from these people to see if they're going to follow us. I do not want to sleep here while they're still. Okay. So, you guys are leaving Elf Song heading for the Blade and Stars. Yes. I guess, yeah, I sail that to the party. I assume they agree. I follow Merce. Yes, yeah, so I I'll follow, follow Mercy's wherever he goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I, I said I, I will fill you in on the on the way, but we do have to go. Like, <laughs> I realize we didn't explain nothing. So, uh, and I have information as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I feel like uh, way, just, uh, whenever we get our rooms, we'll we'll all uh, buddy up in a room and chit chat. Don't worry. And can my character be so drunk I, he needs help walking? No. Yeah. No, you're a 450 turtle. pound turtle, nah, buddy. <laughs> a turtle can't get drunk. I'll row you like a boat back there, but uh... <laughs> um, I'm holding on to the coattails of Elrond because I'm still sobering up, but I'm still drunk. Great. All right, you walk and stumble appropriately your way down the block to the Blade and Stars Inn, which was named for its original sign, which was an enchanted wooden shield. However, that sign has since uh, been taken down. The Bladen Star was named after a shield? Yes, it was named that because uh, there was an enchantment on They were the also drunk. That, that caused glimmering star-like motes of light to sparkle along the, the saber's blade that was also up there. However, the shield has since been taken down. Mm. 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 Um, so we are in the hall of the stars and blade. Uh, Stars and shield. You are or... just outside the blade and stars in. Can I? Can I oh, just okay. like look back and make sure that we didn't have a tail? Sure. Make can I help him? Sure. Make your. Uh, let's call this a perception check. You, you can have advantage because of the help. I pull my tail up into my uh, cloaks. I'm gonna ask if I see anything with my passive when we left, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you perceptive not. at all. I'm certainly genuinely on, generally on guard, but I'm definitely like... Uh, That's a popular just, roll tonight. Right yeah. now, you did have advantage, so you would roll that again. We'll take the higher roll. Yeah. Okay. Come on, nat 20. Close enough. Hey. All right. Uh, you know, you... you see people out on the street, but uh, no one particularly seems to be following you. Okay. The uh, the tiefling from uh, Elf Song uh, didn't get up when you guys left or anything. She just sat there. The, that we're one. Still, um, so... We're still out front, yeah? You're out front of the Blade and Stars. You, you're basically a block away from Elf Song at this point. Uh, is the street pretty open around us, or is this like a, like a kind of a tighter street? It, are there people around, I guess? There are people. Not a lot, but I, there are people. This is a major sense. street. Okay, you're doing divine sense. Um, what? Uh, let's see, where is that? Uh, what's the range on divine sense? It's like what? sixty. Sixty feet. Sixty okay, feet. Good. And as long as they're not behind. Um, right. So cover. at the top of the second floor building behind you, that is opposite the Blade and Stars Inn, there is a fiend 
at the very top of the building as if uh, perched up there. Though when you look, there doesn't appear to be anything there. Oh, fuck. It's the predator, guys. Uh, <laughs> it is. Fuck. Quick, get some mud. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't... I, I just look casually forward and, and just say that under my breath. Everybody says, fiend, uh, second floor. A little bit down the road there. Can't, he's invisible, the street, but they, the they're street. tailing us. Yeah. I mean, you can't see him, but beware. Beware. We need to, we need to handle this thing. Um, any, yeah. man, does anyone have, um, let's get inside. We'll talk in <laughs> this. We shouldn't just be standing here fucking pl- like scheming. All right. I'm so we just turn around. Inside. I <laughs> casually walk in. All right. And Steve's there again, uh, sitting down, pretending like he doesn't know us. Just like, Yeah, well, it's kind of too late now. <laughs> I say, who are you? And I walk past him. Um, is there, uh, are they busy in here? They're not busy, busy. There's some people eating, you know, a couple of sailors, a merchant. Looks like um, some. Uh... Any new dead people from other campaigns? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, there is a uh, sorry, I just lost. I had I had my finger on where I was where I was looking at for the information, and I completely misplaced it. There is a uh, a human woman behind the bar that kind of looks up as you walk in and yells out a greeting to you. I keep my uh, my hood up, try to not not draw attention. Um, wave it down and say, uh, good evening, madam. Uh, I, uh, man, me and my, uh, my companions are, how are, oh, more refugees from El Torel? Uh, um, a few of us are, uh, I myself came from, uh, from uh, uh, Neverwinter, there. A, uh, it's been a while, uh, but I'm, I'm here of my own means, and uh, just just looking for a place to lie down. This uh, the city is massive, and we can get lost here very easily. Oh yeah, yeah, get lost, and uh, well, I hate to say this to you, but uh, you should know there are certain parts of town where if you get lost, there's a good chance you won't be found again. If you catch my drift, take care of yourselves out there. I appreciate that. Well, uh, hope we, uh, we were hoping to, uh, to purchase lodging from you for the evening and, uh, and gather ourselves and, and make our plans so we can... Oh, to... Certainly, certainly. We've got plenty of rooms available. They're warm and clean. Name's Lupin, That's... by the way. Lupin. Pleasure. And uh, uh... my name is Mercy. These are my friends. Uh, we are uh, we're just some travelers passing through. Um, I'm I'm here on a mission myself um, for uh, for the church, so uh, I would like to keep a low profile if you don't mind. Uh, I'd be happy. To... Uh, your I toss business her is your business. Four gold. I I assume they're way cheap, but uh, I just I give her a look. Of... Your business Discretion. is your business. I really have no reason to uh, care one way or the other what uh, you guys are getting up to in town. As long as you don't cause any trouble in my inn, we won't have a problem. <laughs> That's a fair deal. It's a fair deal. I appreciate you. And um, uh, I, yeah, I want to go straight to my room. I mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Wait, Mercy says Divine Sense, right? Um, yeah. Actually, I would like to cast Divine Sense. Inside? Okay. Inside the building? Inside. I would like to jump out a window. Okay. Yeah. So, Vash, you cast Divine Sense inside the building. Uh, nothing pings. Okay. <laughs> I would like to room with Mercius, if possible. Yeah, I, I would like to kind of casually gesture to everybody to follow me uh, up there. I'm still getting my own room. Go uh, on. I'm gonna... Jesus Christ. How many beds are in each room? I bought rooms Depends. for everybody. Oh, okay. 
So there are comfortable rooms that basically are one bed to a room. There are also cheap rooms, which are two beds to a room. And then there's the, essentially the hostel, which is like, you know, a barracks with like, you know, eight bunks in it. How much would five, I think it's five, well, uh, actually, five of the like good to, rooms be? I would actually like to room with um, Stephen, if he does not mind. Uh, one side, I actually have to look that up. Would four gold have covered it? I just, I assumed that would be more than, but I uh, probably should. Hey. It's Sorry, it's the, uh, the uh, index here is actually really crap. No, Lupin, what's she doing? Uh, it's too, it's Lupin too gold. Lupin is cleaning a bottle. It's too gold for nice rooms, isn't it? I think I bought one last time in the last campaign. So yeah, the comfortable Jesus. rooms that are single rooms are two gold a night. That includes room. That's room and board, so you get meals with it too. It's, it's two gold a day, basically. Oh um, no. yeah. I, the okay. modest Oops, rooms where you are basically like you know it's like two beds in it, so two people per room is a gold a day. And the um, the hostel, a, a bunk in there is two silver a day. All right. Well, then I guess I got. Um, uh, Three of the regular room of the modest rooms and uh, yeah. and an extra gold to her. We're doubling up, boys. I wouldn't suggest sleeping alone tonight anyway. Yeah, but um, I would like to gesture everyone to follow me. I think we should uh, convene in one room and uh, have a quick chat about what we're going to be doing next. Mm hmm. I follow. Okay, there nothing would happen. You guys could all go to a room and talk if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah, I'm just waiting on confirmation. I don't know if that's everyone's uh, deal yeah, plan. The time we can all fill each other in on everything. Great. Yeah, a lot of a lot of things have happened in random orders. <laughs> well, that's as what happens. Like, split the party. All right. Yeah. So you guys go to the room. You fill everyone in. Uh, unless someone's trying to keep something quiet, uh, I'll just assume you tell everyone everything. I'm sure. Yeah. I'll the uh, the note with the forty year old piece of parchment that I found, and then the census information with the names. So no bark. bark. Oh yeah, I suppose um, I, uh, I probably wouldn't bring the bark up because that was directed at me and my name. Mm -hmm. Would not or would? Would not. Uh, I, I should probably forgot okay, okay. right now. I get it. Wait, do you read in front of any chance? Huh? I do. Out of, out of character, Ari, or Ruffles, do you, does your character read Infernal by any chance? No. I am literally... She's a Infernal. rich girl. Like that That's what you should picture. Driving Daddy's Mercedes, that's who she is. She just okay. picked up some street smarts along the way from her two um, furbolg friends that both died. <laughs> 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 she came looking for them. <laughs> what a what a simultaneously rich and shallow history. <laughs> no, she just liked to keep the cool kids and pretend that she wasn't rich. Yeah, we've all, all right. seen The Witcher. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, can I get? A, oh, wait, where's sharing rooms? Yes. It's it, two to a room or, you know, whatever whatever tickles your fancy, but uh, I would sleep in shifts, guys, because the, the the enemy's close. They're keeping an eye on us. We've obviously made uh, a lot of noise in and around their uh, their business, so it's, uh, you know, be on guard at all times from here on uh, out. We need, to, we need to tighten this up and uh, figure out what the yeah. hell's going on. All right. Okay, so as I'm in the room with uh, okay, I, I want to go in the room with Mercy, as if possible. Um, that leaves me with the turtle. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> so what are hey, the yeah. sleeping arrangements, then? Uh, Steven and I are sleeping together. I plan on sleeping in my, uh, in my shell, just on someone's floor. And all. Oh, that's perfect, because I was planning on getting a uh, room with one bed, so paying two gold for my own room. So, Mercy, you only pay two gold out of pocket. Great. So, okay, so Ira and Franklin are in a room? The yes, Franklin's sir. on the floor? Yeah, I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor with uh, 
Elrond and his no, friend. No, Ira, myself. Oh, Ira. And, and so, Mercy, that we're paired you're, up. you're in a room with uh, Elrond then? I believe so. And, <laughs> and real quick before you end it, Ender, <laughs> mm-hmm. can I investigate um, or can I check out the book I got with the lock mechanism on it and just confirm that the key or that it seems that the key goes to it that I have? Okay. Um, so you you have a key in your hand. You have the book with uh, the lock on it. What are you are you doing to confirm it? Please, please make him roll a skill check to put the key in the lock. <laughs> like, are, you, are you trying to put the key in and turn it to see if it unlocks? No, nah, not yet. I just want to see if it looks like the key's gonna fit. Like I want to yes, like line the key, the key up. The key size uh, does match the hole. I'm okay. watching him like Jane Austen watching the apes, just like what is he? Okay, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to look at for this. <laughs> okay. All right, and you guys take so we... start sleeping. Um, we will cover the watch order if there is one uh next session because we're going to call it here for the night very well